when I started out at the very beginning to write something about the Roaring Twenties in this area and earlier days, I was really going to write a history of Colchester. Even if I didn't bring him up, people would often stop me when I was asking them about their recollections of coal mining days or community togetherness or other things in Colchester. And they would say, you know, there was a bootlegger who was shot to death here in the end of the 1920s. Kelly Wagle was his name, you know. <laughs> As if this is the thing you ought to be focusing on. Everyone in town has a story about Kelly Wagle. He was kind of a scoundrel, I guess, for, for Colchester. He made, he made a lot of notoriety around here. Well, we know the story of Robin Hood. Uh, you do. He, he stole from the rich and gave to the poor. And Colchester was not a very prosperous town. Their families were miners or dirt farmers or what, and Kelly Wagle was next to God in that town for many people. I think he had a tender heart, and I think he probably was hurt very deeply at some point. He had a wife who wasn't getting along well. It wasn't long, and she was out of existence. Everyone wondered what happened to her. I've never seen nothing like this before, ever, you know. You may find a safe in a house, but it's not, you know, this dramatic, this, uh, you know, involved. No one in Colchester really knew the bootlegger story all that well. No one. 